Popular tick and what TikTok is getting famous. Let me tell you, people, something. If you want to, if you want um, your information, because you know a lot of people don't like to use Facebook, because they say, oh, Facebook is gathering our information and and doing this and doing that. I was just watching, I was watching something this morning on HLN with Robin Mead, the news, and TikTok. India, the country India banned TikTok. And another country banned TikTok because they found out that TikTok is gathering all of your personal data for secret use. Not only your personal data, every video that you make, they're not your location. They know where you live. Exactly. And because and, and, they said some company in China, China owns TikTok. And, and yeah, and two countries already banned TikTok. You know what I'm saying? They want to they wanna say, oh, I'm not messing with Facebook because Facebook is this. But you got everybody's on TikTok. But go ahead. What's going on with TikTok here, Brother Israel? Popular, supposedly popular. Okay, go ahead. Oh, TikTok star. TikTok star, yes. TikTok star. Miss. Oh, I don't know what it is. Anyway, just from me to takeonnews.com. Article headline: Popular TikTok star, some white boyfriend. He does support Black Lives Matter. She's white, ain't she? Uh, no, but she's white. She's black. Oh, she's black? Yeah. Oh. And, um, what's her name? Tina Turtle. Oh, Tina Turtle. Kind of remind me of Lisa Turtle from Saved by the Bell. But, uh, go ahead. Is she dark-skinned or light-skinned? Oh, they don't. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, now you can go ahead then. You can go ahead. Oh, I, 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 Back. Go back. Alright. A popular African American TikTok star has decided to dump her white boyfriend because he allegedly not comfortable publicly supporting Black Lives Matter movement. Me and Tick out news are saying shit myself alone is not comfortable probably supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. But what is Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter Yeah, it's the LGBT movement. You know what I'm saying? They got all you black folks full thinking you, you know what I'm saying, you supporting some type of black movement. This is an LGBT movement. They all about the woman and the child. You know what I'm saying? Genocide on a black man, but yet they want to stand up every time a black man is what? Killed. You know what I'm saying? If it's Black Lives Matter, you know what I'm saying? Get all these black lives off of the government system, child support system. How about that one? Uh, you lazy niggas, get up and get a fucking job. Take care of your child. Like you're supposed to do for that child to be able to love thy father. So come on. If this is a Black Lives Matter movement... If this is a Black Lives Matter movement, you should be marching and protesting against the gangs that's in the black community. Against the drugs that's in the black community. For real, Black Lives Movement Matter, matter movement, that should be having to stop black on black crime, like, not the white on black crime that's been going, that's what we can go on. 
Yeah. Wrong movement. So, so this TikTok star is doing a little promotion, basically. Um, a little promotion, yeah. What comes next is actually quite interesting, though. How she became, uh, viral. Oh, go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just say we got another Megan Thee Stallion slash, uh, card ID. Twerking? Meaning, yes, sir, on a Caucasian man. The video was captioned. I had to work on MLK Day. So I call this twerking. I call this twerking my reparation. Wow, really? It got more than 20 million views. Well, you know what? You know what the black women had to go through in slavery? The black women had to go through having sex or getting raped by our slave masters. So I guess this is a reversal, huh? You voluntarily doing it now. To this day, to this day, our people are... Our Actually, uh, honestly, I'm not... Yeah, she voluntarily did it, but still as a slave. Because he's doing it for money. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's voluntarily doing it, but she's still doing it as a slave because it's for money. Mm -hmm. That's what she. That's what made it go viral. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hesitant. I'm kind of even hesitant to put this video out because you know what I'm saying. I don't really want to motherfucking and promote this bitch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> but go ahead and finish reading, Brother Israel. Well, Tina and her man have been split. Tina posted a video saying that she cut him off because her man wasn't comfortable publicly supporting Black Lives Matter. People on social media speculate. I wouldn't be surprised if she's dead. And just doing that just for the money. And, and, and you know, and you know what? It probably is. And and her white boyfriend, I, I'm behind her white boyfriend because I don't support Black Lives Matter. Maybe her white boyfriend understands what Black Lives Matter is all about. And, and, and maybe she knows what Black Lives Matter is all about. And... In retrospect, she probably saying, "Oh, you don't support the LGBT," because that's what Black Lives Matter is about. I'm behind her boyfriend one hundred percent, you know. And you, you, you got a point there, brother Israel. You said that maybe she's gay. It, mm -hmm. it could be. Oh wow! I got even more confirmation that it's possible. Hold on, let me continue. Even down to her, uh, even down to people on social media speculate that the man she was working on in the video was her boyfriend. Tina never confirmed or denied that this is the case. Oh, so the white man was her boyfriend and she was twerking? I'm pretty sure that, you know what I'm saying, probably was her boyfriend because. That seemed like something to do. I wouldn't think that she. I wouldn't think that she would go out in the public and just you know what I'm saying. Well, black women do that, you know. You see, I, can, I don't think. Um, I don't think it would be her boyfriend because Ray. What do you think at the beginning? You would have flat out said, "Yeah, nah, I think black girls don't do black lives matter women." Don't you think that conversation would have came up at the beginning of a relationship or not? Mm, Shona would have. Shona would have. That's really one of the first things that came up. Well, that, well, you know, um, this could be, because, you know, when you pass your soul through the fire of Moloch, you know what I'm saying, your 
old boyfriends or girlfriends you got to get rid of because they at least got to match you up with somebody that is compatible within their circle oh well get this um when um what you call it um july 13 2020 that's when that's done she got with him january or she did that twerking video uh-huh like that got her viral january 20 2020 January 20, 2020, okay. And, um, uh, the one where he said, where, uh, they're pretty much, um, she, um, uh, right here, July 13th, 2020, is when she pretty much done with him. So January 3rd, March 15th. July, six months. Into the relationship. Yeah, you know, this could be, you know, this could be a ritual, just her transitioning, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was a, a, a launching port. port. Yeah, that, that was yeah. a new year, new me. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? This could be just a ritual for her to, you know what I'm saying, go spread her wings and fly again. But for all you people who, you know what I'm saying, who's logging on to TikTok, that's why I don't follow, you know what I'm saying, I don't follow everything. Everybody, will, oh, you should get an Instagram, or you should get this, you should get a, a Snapchat. Every time people tell me to go to these other damn platforms, I said, no, I don't know the other platforms, and I'm not following the masses. You know what I'm saying? Call, like it's too, it's too late for me and Facebook, because... There we go, my submission. Yeah. Call me old school. I stick with YouTube and Facebook. At least I know what YouTube and Facebook is about. I don't know what these I, new platforms about. At least I know Tom, who made Facebook, is not going to come after me. Yeah. You know, so... <laughs> So, so I'm, I don't mess with all these other new, the other platforms, but, uh, that's going to wrap this up. I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour, right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lamik Israel.